نفس إن لم تظفري لا تجزعي Musa alayhi salam when he sees injustice he gets upset when he sees two people fighting each other he doesn't just stand there he goes and fixes it when he sees women struggling to feed their animal he goes and helps when he sees an innocent boy being killed or he sees a ship being sunk for no reason of course he's going to have a problem and this became his test of sabr in other words when you see when you and i see unfairness in your personal life in your circle when you see unfairness done towards you or done towards towards others and you start questioning why is this unfairness happening this isn't right that can't be a good thing and you start you know it, it agitates you it really bothers you it's at that point that those words of khidr alayhi salam to to musa alayhi salam are aqul alam aqul laka innaka lan tastati'a ma'ayya sabr i don't tell you this this education this real this this knowledge is not easy to acquire you can you don't have the patience for this this is why it's not given to everyone you 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 can't handle this and he even made the statement wa kayfa tasbiru ala ma lam tuhit bihi khubra how in the world can you be patient over something you have no knowledge or experience of there is an experience of the unseen allah did not open up that experience to us we can't possibly experience it we have to be humble and just sit back and say allah knows and we don't know wallahu ya'lamu wa antum la ta'lamun allah knows and you don't know eventually when musa alayhi salam was taught okay these are the things you couldn't bear this is what was really going on this is this was allah's plan behind each of the events that took place when that hap- when that's described then actually we realize this is one of the most important bits parts of knowledge that if we don't humble ourselves to if we truly don't humble ourselves to then there's no point considering yourself and myself someone who wants to learn about allah's deen let me say that again when uh, when we give ourselves completely to allah's plan that means we've humbled ourselves before allah we've trusted our teacher who is allah and we've trusted the the road he's taken us on even if that road becomes uncomfortable our trust in him doesn't go away and that's not easy to do if that wasn't even easy to do for a messenger like Musa alayhi salam wa kallama Allah Musa taklima the one who spoke to Allah directly it wasn't even easy for him to do that means it's not easy for you and me to do this is one of the hardest things we have to do in life is to actually be able to just be okay with Allah's plan is to know at the end of the day there is a larger plan now please don't misunderstand what i'm trying to get across in this khutbah i am not saying that when people treat you unfairly and when people do wrong to you or you see wrong happening that you shouldn't say anything it's a lust plan i I'm, i'm going to take the you know take the sabr approach and not say anything that's not what's being said it's being said about things that are out of our control when things that are happening that are out of our control there's always a plan in place there's always something happening that 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 is from Allah and we us standing up for justice us speaking out against the wrong that is happening is an obligation we have on ourselves but this is beyond that it's that's obvious that's common sense that's something the that most of the Quran talks about but there's an attitude before Allah azza wa jalla that we have to humble ourselves we have to i have to really really acknowledge it myself that i'm not going to question Allah i'm not going to say ya Allah i don't see the the sense behind this plan i don't get it if i was planning i would have done a better job ma'adullah This is the thought that goes in someone's head. This is this is the the thing that has to be killed. Cuz my sense of planning, my decision making in my head you're thinking you're more merciful than Allah. You're thinking you're more just than Allah. You am I thinking that I'm a I'm a better planner than Allah? I know better than Allah. I have more wisdom than Allah. Is that what I'm thinking? Because when I'm questioning his judgment like that, then I'm clear, there's clearly something wrong. Of course we can get close to that sometimes. Even the angels got close to that at one point. They didn't understand why Adam was created. They didn't get it. They even asked Allah Azza wa Jalla, "Taj'alu fiha man yufsidu fiha wa yasfiqud dima?" Are you going to put on the earth someone who's going to cause corruption and spill blood? We don't get it. But immediately, immediately as soon as they said this because they don't understand. It's okay. We can ask Allah, "Ya Rabb, I wish I understood why this is happening." give me contentment to deal with what is happening that's okay but immediately what did the angel say wa nahnu nusabbihu bihamdika wa nuqaddisu lak and by the way you're perfect we're not questioning your perfection we don't get it 
but that doesn't mean that you're making the wrong decision at all. That's, that's humility. That's to be a abd of one of, one of the ibad of Allah. Abdan min ibadina.